Uncle Nacho's Hat, adapted by Harriet Romer. Every day, Uncle Nacho woke up with the sun. He said, good morning to his cat and his dog. He said, good morning to his parrot and his monkey. And he said, good morning to his hat, which was old and full of holes. Uncle Nacho lit a fire to make his morning coffee. When the fire started to go out, he fanned it with his hat. But since his hat was old and full of holes, it didn't do any good. The little house filled with smoke. The cat meowed, the dog barked, the parrot screeched, the monkey screamed, and Uncle Nacho began to yell at his hat, you are useless and full of holes. You are no good for anything anymore. Uncle Nacho, Uncle Nacho, came a voice at the door. It was Ambrosia, Uncle Nacho's niece. She had stopped in for a little visit on her way to school. What's the matter, Uncle Nacho? Is the house burning down? No, Ambrosia, I am just fighting with my hat again. It's no good to me anymore. You say that every morning, Uncle Nacho. So today I have a present for you, a new hat. Uncle Nacho put on the new hat and looked at himself in the mirror. See how handsome it makes you look, Uncle Nacho, said Ambrosia. It's true, all the girls will fall in love with me. That's for sure, Uncle Nacho. Well, I have to go to school now. I'll come by later. Take care of yourself, Ambrosia, and thank you for my hat. Now I have a new hat, said Uncle Nacho to himself, but what am I going to do with this old hat that's not good for anything anymore? Hat, he said to the old hat, what am I going to do with you? I know, I'll put you in my trunk. Wait a minute. What if mice get in and start to eat you? No, no, no. I better put you in my trunk. But Hat, you're really not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. You don't keep me dry in the rain. I should throw you away. I'll take you outside right now and throw you in the street. Wait a minute, I think I see a car coming. You might get ran over. No, 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 no. I better not throw you away in the street. But Hat, you're really, really not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. You don't keep the sun off my head. I should throw you away. I'll take you outside right now and throw you in the trash. There, maybe some good man will find you. Someone who will appreciate you, a decent person. God bless you both. A few moments later came Chabella, Ambrosia's mother. She was coming in from the market and trying to count her change. Then she saw Uncle Nacho's hat. I know this hat, said, Uncle, said her mom. Somebody must be playing a trick on poor Uncle Nacho. Hat, you're coming with me right away. I'm taking you home to Uncle Nacho. Look, Uncle Nacho, look what I found, your hat. Thank you very much, Chimbella, but I threw this old hat away because your daughter Ambrosia gave me a new one. See, doesn't it look good on me? Ambrosia gave you a new hat, so you threw away your old one? Aye, how will anyone know you without your hat? You're right, Chimbella, thank you. And Uncle Nacho took back his old hat. But in truth, Hat, you're not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. I really should throw you away. This time I'm taking you far from here and then my heart won't break when I think about you. So Uncle Nacho took his old hat to the very edge of town where the town became the country and he hung it in the branch of a flower tree. There, at last, we can say goodbye. Under the tree, an old gentleman was waking up from his nap. He saw Uncle Nacho's hat. 
Sir, sir, you've forgotten your hat. I'm leaving it here, said Uncle Nacho. It isn't any use to me anymore. Can you give it to me? How about me then? Take it. That hat is yours. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uncle Nacho watched that old gentleman walk away wearing the hat. At last, a deserving person has my hat. May it serve him well. The old gentleman was so happy with his hat that he didn't see Pedro and Paco following him. Hey, look, said Pedro. The old guy's wearing Uncle Nacho's hat. He must have stolen it. We're taking that hat back you stole, cried Paco. I didn't steal it, protested the gentleman. That's a lie, you stole it. And the boys and the old gentleman fought over the hat until it was completely torn apart. Finally, the boys grabbed it and ran away. We got it, let's take it to Uncle Nacho. Uncle Nacho will be so happy to have his hat. Uncle Nacho, Uncle Nacho, what's going on boys? Look, look what we've got. We've got your hat back from that old thief who stole it. Uncle Nacho was angry. I gave that hat to that old gentleman and now you've ruined it. It isn't even a hat anymore. Uncle Nacho, Nacho took back what was left of that old hat and slammed the door. A little later, Ambrosia arrived from her visit on her way home from school. What's the matter, Uncle Nacho? Why aren't you wearing your new hat? I've been, told, I've been too busy worrying about that old, my old hat, Ambrosia. The more I try to get rid of it, the more it comes back. I don't know what to do. Ambrosia thought for a few seconds. Stop worrying about your old hat, Uncle Nacho. Think, try to think about your new hat instead. Ah, I never thought of that before. How intelligent you are, Ambrosia. Uncle Nacho put on his new hot hat. Hat, let's go. I'm taking you to meet my friends. I like your hat. What a nice hat, Uncle Nacho. Your hat looks great. And I like my new hat too. The end.